Good evening. It is my privilege to join you tonight in celebration of Public Council's 43 years of providing free legal services to veterans and their families. The Public Council's Center for Veterans Advancement is a leader in veterans advocacy both at the local and national levels. I also want to add my voice in congratulating Senator Elizabeth Dole on receiving Public Council's prestigious William O. Douglas Award. Douglas once said, the great and invigorating influences of American life have been the unorthodox, the people who challenge an existing institution or way of life, or say and do things that make people think. An astute observer of our national character, Douglas might well have been speaking of tonight's honoree, Elizabeth Dole, whose very ambition to serve at the highest levels was for a woman of her generation, a very certain challenge to an existing institution and way of life. She certainly belongs in the recipient's chair tonight. Through her foundation, Elizabeth Dole created Caring for Military Families, the stated mission that is met every day in thousands of ways across America is to uplift American military caregivers by strengthening the services afforded to them through innovation, evidence-based research, and collaboration. They achieve this by assisting and supporting the organizations and agencies that serve caregivers, spouses, parents, and others responsible for an injured military member. It's important to note that their mission then is not to create a new focus within the military community, but to quietly assist the families impacted by having a loved one severely wounded at war. It is this model of quiet philanthropy on behalf of our wounded service members that makes me all the more aware of how precious her efforts are. Wife, cabinet secretary, senator, and public-spirited philanthropist, she gives freely of herself in the spirit of love and community an example that is so desperately needed at this moment in our national journey. I somehow also feel that she would be first to recognize how central to her journey has been her partnership with another equally outstanding American, the remarkable Senator Robert Dole, who is living proof of how a determined wounded hero may be healed wherever there is love and support and simple affection to lift them up. I'm so honored to be a part of this evening as it allows me to offer my deepest thanks and sincerest congratulations to the Honorable Elizabeth Hanford Dole. Your life, your career, your journey is a shining example of both the principles and possibilities of our great nation.